one. And thank you for bringing it up as well. It, we should be doing that all the time anyway. Let's talk about uh, Kothbiro, the tournament that has a very interesting name. It means the rains are coming. We pray. <laughs> it's been so hot. So Kothbiro, uh, the, 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 semi, the quarterfinals were being played. And yes. um, uh, there were some very interesting results. Now, we must mention here that the Kothbiro is, is always full of controversy. You know? <laughs> so the quarterfinals had not been played. Now that's because there was no money to, to pay anyone. So, <laughs> so finally some money was found and Polosa, <laughs> Paul, who is uh, the organizer, has said that now they're playing right up to the end. Let's continue the story from there. That things are well. So what happened, Ken? So, uh, Koroges, 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 uh, who are the they are they are debuting? This is their first season. Where are they from? This was Koroges. They're from they're from uh, <laughs> they're from Gikomba. Let me tell you, <laughs> from Gikomba. They're from Gikomba as well. They were playing against Ruaraka All Stars. Yes, and they managed to beat Ruaraka All Stars four two. So they are in the semi final. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, Isili South mm. from Isili playing against Kingston. Uh, they went into penalties and eventually Isili South prevailed and won 5 4. Mm. So I, I'm waiting for the results of the other two matches to complete the semis to be played on the 28th and the finals to be played on February 4th. Well, this is the oldest, one of the oldest tournaments in this country, uh, Bungay. You know that uh, it's good to have some of these off-season tournaments. The only problem now is that it is being played in season as well. No team is off-season. Yeah. But what do you think about these tournaments? I, I, I think the most important thing here is that this is the, what I call it, you know, the second tire. Uh, it gives a chance for those uh, upcoming footballers, you know, for, for the uh, scout talents. You know to be uh to be able to identify those players that are very good so that they can be able to move to the next level they are very important because in football unlike in athletics for example you know whereby uh we have uh, primary schools secondary schools you are able to pick the juniors you know but in football is a little bit difficult yeah. and therefore they it, need to, it, they it need used to be there it used to be there with the with the what would be the equivalent of inter-county games now but in those days they used to be called inter interdivisions and then you'd go to the provincials which would be by province and then you'd go to the nationals but now because of the counties maybe it will start from being inter-county and then you know uh, getting all the way to the national. But remember also that you know it is good for them to play in a in a in a team, because that way it will be very easy for them to transition because they have been playing for uh, for example uh, Dandoran New Saints uh, or Kayole Youngsters. You know, then somebody can be able to now go to the next day level correct yeah. i agree with you the only thing you must remember is in Cotsbiro, actually some of the big players in the premier league usually play there because it's an off-season yeah. tournament so to keep fit and all that eh, yeah. you find all the big players there in those days it was um uh, it was still exciting. big you'd be gormaya players yeah. fc leopards players playing Reunion the same players you'd playing find them in yeah. the estates where they live playing for their estates and it's still and playing in the now. same team yeah. it's just that now that, like i said the only problem is that it's now being played in season because the league is in season and yeah. Cotsbiro is also being played but uh, again, like I told you, Kotbiro has some very special features, <laughs> usually. The last time there was an issue with the sponsor, somebody ran away with the sponsor, somebody else ran away with the money from the sponsor. <laughs> and the referee went with the ball. <laughs> the referee disappeared with the ball. The police, the tear gas was loaded. A goal was scored when there was tear gas on the field. But that's what makes it very special. This time around, we only know that it is going on and it's going on to the end. Well done. We'll be able to give the results of others, the semis and uh, the finals. New things are happening in soccer every day you know apart from just the usual amendments to the rules of the game there are some new things that are happening in soccer that you must take cognizance of now you know that for a warning you know a bookable offense in soccer you get a yellow card a second bookable offense of course might get you another yellow card and that would mean a second yellow card translating into a red card that's the punishment but you know the one thing that has never been done in football is the rewards for good things. And now there is the white card <laughs> in football. Um, friend. Look, I, I, I think... In athletics, you have... You know, in the false start in athletics, yes. you used to have a warning to the person who has false started. Yes. Now it's everybody across the board. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you see, in football, it is so difficult to be able to reward anyone, and especially on the pitch. For somebody that has done something good because it inspires everybody to be like okay you know what i would like to get a white card it inspires 
uh, because most of the time, whenever, and I think every player uh, dreads the the removal of, uh, or, or even a whistle alone. Yes. Forget about, uh, you know. Even just a caution. Even, even, even no, just forget a about caution. even remo removing uh, a whistle alone. You will yes. be like, okay, what is it going to happen to me? Am I going to get yellow card or red card? But now, you know, for the sake of uh, good football, uh, especially for the players, you know, it means something very important. All right. So the white card, let's just explain, mm -hmm. is given to an incident of what we call fair play. Yeah. You do something nice on the field. Yes. Now, this is this is the context in which it happened. Now, we must say that it happened in a women's game. Yeah. Okay. This was in Portugal, yeah. where it has been used for the first time. Benfica versus Sporting Lisbon. Yeah. And uh, a player was injured. A fan. And a fan. It was a fan. No, 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 no. It was a female player who was injured. Yeah. And the two medics ran onto the field. The medics for both sides. Yeah. You know, Sporting Lisbon has a, a, a doctor and uh, the other side has a doctor. They both ran at the same time mm -hmm. to give medication and to give some first aid. So they got a white card for fair play. Mm -hmm. Now, there are very many other incidences where, uh, you know, fair play things happen. When a player gets injured and is the opposing side and this player removes the ball off the field, it's an act of fair play. It's usually rewarded by the ball being thrown back to his team and then they restart it again. But these are acts of fair play. Now, a, a, a white card will be given to to them as well Ken. yes uh, well uh, this has started uh, implementation only in portugal hasn't been seen in the rest of the world but um the, the way the way football is um you know with only the red and, and yellow appreciation appreciation does not happen many times you've seen in the apl or this other football uh, a player goes down and because the other team has the ball and they think oh that guy is just pretending so we just continue and sometimes it could be dangerous you know well so sometimes this, games this, this, have been stopped yes, and replayed, been replayed because, of, yes, that, because yes. of that so now now at least we have a, we have a system where we can say a thank you it's a sportsman the only sportsman thing the only thing i'm wondering is then how does it add to the game i mean so you give me a, a white card so does it does it mean that when i get a yellow card next it will be cancelled by the white card or what, <sighs> what happened because we know listen there is the psychology of rewards and punishment okay so if i get the first yellow card i am being punished for something i've done if i make an offense again the punishment is a red card correct yes now, what about the reward for i have done something good now and i'm doing something good again in the next game what is the reward i i think it should cancel out any <laughs> cards that you get later in the game for it to be of any uh, uh, like in competitions where there's knockout stages yeah, there, for it to be of any, games, of, of any consequence otherwise you show no me a, a white card and then does it even stop the game because in the yellow and red card the game is stopped for you to get that yellow or red card. I, I guess it's still early days bernard but listen we have to talk about there's, these things. Yeah, there is still early days, but what do you? No, we do. What, what, what do you do think? Means, before dismissing yes. it as early days, if, what do you think? If you get a white card, it really should just erase all your history, and your history, you know, will only be a, a yellow. No, I'm not saying it erases, but I'm saying you should carry it forward as an yeah. act of goodwill, so that when you get a yellow card next, <laughs> it is cancelled by the. Not no, it erases. It's, it's what has happened. No, no, no. no it can't can't erase, no. You, you, you <laughs> no, it should it should precipitate what is coming. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, my. my, my opinion on this is that uh, if somebody was had uh, done something good that he was able to be recognized and given a white card if he falls the next one then I agree with the you. Next one, right? yeah, the next yeah, one, right? Yeah, so it's then, like you're picking up good <laughs> yeah, points. Exactly. You're putting them in your pocket. You're picking yeah. bonga points. Yeah, yeah, you're picking oh. bonga points. Bonga points, yeah. <laughs> in your pocket, To yeah. wait for the next time when something is going wrong, you know? Yeah, and especially, you know, if someone has folded uh, that you don't want to really give a card and he was already having a white, then you should not. Some of okay. these things are quite liberal. I saw in Italy, Syria B, they tried to use a green card. Green card, they defined it to be the card between yellow and red. So when you're given a green card, you must leave the pitch immediately. But if you have, your team has not exhausted the allowed number of substitutions, they can substitute you. So you're being sent off, but you can be substituted. That's a green and card. They're just confusing the game. game. I mean, yeah, this is not rugby really where you can be sent off and then you come <laughs> back. They're just changing the game altogether. Yeah. Yes, Bugay, the, the last word on that one. Um, I, I think, you know, what, what has become is that uh, football is becoming very interesting. You know, they're trying to make it more, you know, yeah. more exciting. Eh? So the, the, there's a lot of changes that are, you know, being put in football. I, I, I think you and I we have agreed that sports is, uh, is, is 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 an industry. You know, it's a business whereby you need to make it more and more exciting, so that you know when we have new things introduced, you have also more people 
being able to watch and that is i think basically what it is you know because they have to to make it interesting okay look for example when you are talking about that for a very long time in athletics for example uh you would fall you are the only one that if you fall next you will go but that they introduce because they realize that you know some people maybe misuse that uh they introduce that one if one athlete falls all of you are falling yes so yes. it is a matter of transition in sport okay i hear you well thank you very much for that comment and we'll take a little break when we come back we shall talk more about what's going on plus we will be talking to some of those who are awarded at the sawyer awards we wanted to talk to the most promising girl and the most promising boy in those categories we will be talking to one of them in just a few minutes and um yeah we just wanted to stay with us here and then we'll talk to you in just one moment